Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 102 of Java for Tester series. That is last index of method of string class in Java. String class in Java has different methods, guys. String class in Java has different predefined methods. And this method, that is last index of, is one of them. That is last index of method is one of the methods of this string class in Java, guys. So what is the purpose of using this last index of method? The purpose is to check the last occurrence of the given text or character in the string literal, guys. Okay. The purpose is to check to check the last occurrence of the given text or character in the provided string literal. String literal. To check the last occurrence of the given text or character in the provided string literal text case. Okay. So the last occurrence of the given text or character index will be returned. Okay. If the given text or character is really there, the last occurrence of that given text or character index will be some index value will be written, guys. If the given text or character is not available in the string literal text, then you will get minus one as a result. There are two possibilities, guys. On using this last index of either it will return you the index of the given text, okay, which is there at the last occurrence. And or if this text or character is not at all available, it will return minus one. Okay. So either you can provide text or character for this purpose, guys. Let me show you practically how we can take care of this. Okay. How to uh, make use of that uh, last index of uh, string class method. So let's uh, create a variable, guys. Uh, say I declare this with string class and assign to this. Some text like this, cfox.com, the software testing tutorials. And uh, here I will say the easiest tutorial. Okay, tutorials, easiest to tutorials, something like that. If I give here, okay, now if I say system.out.println a dot last index of, okay, I have four overloaded methods here you can see last index of last they have the all these four methods have the same name last index of last index of last index of last index. that's why they are called overloaded methods guys i'll explain overloading uh, concept of these methods as part of the future videos anyhow but for now assume that uh, understand that these are the four overloaded methods having the same name and when i say a dot last index of either you can give text or you can give character something like that guys let's go with the text first okay last index of string str okay let's go with this one here you need to pass the string literal text guys so in this complete uh, string literal text i want to search for this okay if i give some da here the last index of will return you the this text the last occurrence of this particular text it will return this here you see the first occurrence of the da has come here okay the index of this da will be different from this da there are two occurrences of the da text inside this string literal text the first da is there here at some index and the second occurrence of the da is here and this is the last occurrence guys. after this die there is no other da right so when you use this a dot last index of it has to return me the index of the last occurrence of this text that i have provided here that is this is the last occurrence of the da text in this string literal text guys the index of this should be returned so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 is the index of the first occurrence here but uh, here last index of will return you the last occurrence of the da so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 is the index guys of this da, which is the last occurrence. The last occurrence of this text is this da guys. That is 45 is the index. Okay, so it should return me. It should print 45 guys. Okay, this uh, last index of will return 45 index value, and this print the ln statement will print this 45 in the output. Let's see whether that is happening or not. Let me run as the obligation. You see 45. 
even though the i is there at the beginning at the 12th index it, the 12 is not getting printed because last index of will ret ret uh, uh, return the last index value last occurrence uh, index value of the text okay last occurrence text only will be considered if this is the first occurrence and uh, if there are any other thus in between the last one will be considered for this guys so what if i give something that is not available here okay a dot last index of i'll give something that is not available here let's say i'll give something like uh, uh, arun here okay if i give arun here right click run as java application see minus one is coming because arun text is not there anywhere in this uh, complete string literal text okay so that's why we will get minus one here guys minus one will be written because this uh, arun text is not any there anywhere here right so next we can even uh, go with the characters also guys uh, and uh, before going there let's uh, see any other uh, literals any other overloaded methods of last index of so string and string with uh, from index okay so returns a uh, if i select this one okay returns the index with this of uh, the last occurrence of the searching backwards starting at the specified index okay so what will happen let me explain so if i give something like last index of we will give da here and here i will say something like uh, some 15 okay so uh, i have given the index value as 15 so what will happen is we'll go to 15 now okay how this last index of will work i will tell you okay 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So from here, from 15th index, whatever the 15 is there, from 15th index onwards, the search will happen to the back side days. Okay. The last occurrence, last occurrence of the that text before the index 15 will be done. Index 15 is the, this one, guys, uh, till index 15. Index value, uh, index value 15 is at this point, guys. And before this, any last occurrence of the is there, that index value will be written, guys. Okay. So before 15th index, what is the last occurrence of the DA is only one DA is there before before 15th index. So this is only the which has the index value as 12. So 12 will be printed here. Okay. So the search will happen backwards, guys. Okay. If I give 30 here, from 30 onwards, the backward search will happen for the DA, last occurrence of DA, guys. Okay, like that. So here. When I said 15, this is a last point of 15, guys, and uh, the last occurrence of die is here. So 12th index will be before 15th index. The last occurrence of die is this part. Okay, so 12 index value of this uh, last occurrence of die, which is coming before the index 15, will be printed. You see, 12 got written. Like this, we can have different overall methods of last index of uh, last index of method, which you have, which you can use. Okay, like this. So next thing is. Uh, I'll create another string, guys. String B is equal to, I'll give the name as like uh, Arun Motori in this, uh, like this Arun Motori I'll give. So here, when I say system.out.println, here I'll search for the character, guys. Here, so far I uh, search for the text, but now I'll search for the character here. That is B dot last index of character, okay? Last index of, if I say R, guys, just guess, guys, what will be the index value? Here in this string literal text, there are two R's. First, uh, first occurrence of R and then uh, last occurrence of R is this one, guys. Last occurrence of R is here. So it has to return me the last index of this R, guys, okay? This is the last uh, occurrence of this R, so it will give me the index of this uh, particular R, guys. So let's find out the index value. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it has to print 10, guys. The last occurrence of this character R is this one, guys, the index value of this R is 10. So 10 will be printed like this. This is how it works. So what if I give something which is not available? Last index of character. If I give something like S, which is not available, S, S character literal is not there anywhere in this uh, string literal, guys. You see, Arun Motor is there. S is not there anywhere. So it will return me minus one, guys. Okay. If the given character literal is not available in this string literal text, it will give me minus one. Let's run this and find it out. Uh, right click run as Java application, whether we are getting 10 and minus one. You see 10 and minus one got printed. That's fine. Now the next thing here is, we'll be using another overloaded method of uh, last index of with character. Okay. You see last index of character in from index. 
okay it will search backwards guys you can see searching backwards or starting at the specific index so what if i give something like this okay i will search for r here okay but uh, i'll give something index value as like something like 5 i will give okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 is m guys okay 5 means m so from m searching to the backwards if what is the last occurrence of r okay from m starting uh, searching to the backwards what is the last occurrence of r the last occurrence of r is this part guys okay so this is the fifth index value okay in the, at index value 5 we have this m guys from here onwards we will start backwards for the r last occurrence of r we will start searching for and this is a point where is the last occurrence of r before this m guys so r index value of r is 1 guys 1 should be printed here okay index last index value of r which is coming before this index value 5 is this r guys that is 1 okay 0 1 0 and 1 so 1 should be printed here right click run as java application you see one will be printed like this guys we can use the last index of for searching the last occurrence of the given text or character okay in java so that's it guys uh, this is how we have to use last index of method of the string class in java in the next video session i will explain how to use split method of string class in java okay split method of string class in java i'll explain as part of the next video session guys so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you Bye.